Hey guys, it's November 1st and that means the annual countdown to the holidays has begun. So I thought it was the perfect opportunity to launch my holiday helper series. What is that you might ask? So I have decided to launch a second series on this channel all through the holiday season, giving you short videos once a week that will give you all of my tried and true advice to keep the holidays stress-free. So today we're tackling the perfect potluck idea. If you're headed to somebody else's house for Thanksgiving and they've asked you to bring something. If that's the case, I say raise your hand for the charcuterie board because it comes together in minutes, there's no cooking involved, and it looks so pretty too. Let me show you how to put it together. So the first thing you're gonna do is pick out your board. Now when it comes to this type of thing, I also like to pick out a board that looks extra special because you can leave it with your host as a hostess gift, so it also doubles as a present. I recently discovered this company out of Toronto, Canada called Charcuterie Boards, of all things, and I love their boards because I think that they are so stunning and so beautiful, and they're also offering a discount to any Entertaining with Beth viewers. So if you like these boards and you'd like to pick one up, in the description I've left you a link as well as the discount code. Okay, so the first thing we're gonna do is we're going to take a small bowl and put it in the center, this can be something that you ask your hostess for, or you can bring it with you, either way. And we're gonna add some whole grain mustard. You'll see why in a minute, but I really love to have something in the center that's pretty, and I think whole grain mustard is such a beautiful, rustic thing to add. It also is going to go perfectly with all of the meats that we are going to put on our board. The first meat we're going to add is some prosciutto. Now you could also use serrano ham if you wanted to. I like to make it decorative and pretty by rolling a piece around my finger, and then just placing it on the board. That way you have nice little rolls that people can help themselves to. And then I also like to choose a really nice salami. And for the salami, I also take it and sort of put it on a little pile, almost looking like a fortune cookie. And you can do a nice pile that way. I find that charcuterie, if you just take it out of the package and let it lay there flat, doesn't look as appetizing. I think you wanna add a little dimension to it. And having the salami sort of stand up like this does the trick. Then we're gonna add a little smoky flavor in the form of some Spanish chorizo. That's another great one to add. You can do the same thing, just kind of pile it up so it stands upright. And then I also like to put a little peppered salami. So salami comes in so many different varieties. You can find just about any kind, and I think it's good to sort of mix and match. So I'll add a little peppered salami. And then next to that, something familiar, sometimes people will really just love some pepperoni, so I'll add a few slices of that too. Then you'll have the front of the board free and clear, and this is where you want to add your breadsticks. So Italian breadsticks is a classic thing to serve with a charcuterie board, and I will just line them up so that they stay put and that they look decorative. And then when guests serve themselves, you can encourage them to take a breadstick, wrap some meat around it, and then take a little dab of that mustard and put it on top. And it makes for a fantastic hors d'oeuvre. I love this idea because it's so easy to put together, it's pretty affordable, and then you can leave the board with your host for a nice gift. I hope you guys give this one a try and let me know what you think, and I will see you back here next week for another delicious holiday recipe. Until then. Sweetly.